um, obviously not the level of rugby you wanted to play in the first half, but the last 10 minutes there was just exhilarating. What were you guys feeling as time was winding down? I think uh, it helps us when, you know, we're down, when we're, it seems like it could go both ways because when we get complacent and we get even just, you know, a couple points on the board, you get that feeling of, okay, if we just stick with this, we could still win. So always having that feeling that we have to get more and we have to get another try, get another point. So, um, I mean, it was, the adrenaline was pumping throughout the whole game. It wasn't like it never, it never stopped. When the Rebecca Deep goes down, it seemed like that seemed to be a motivation for you guys going forward when you guys really scored a lot of your tries in the last few minutes. What, what was that spark for you guys? Um, I think it was, you know, whenever some one of our players goes down, we just are constantly almost pissed, you know, pissed that someone would hurt our teammates or pissed that they're they're hurt. So we let that fuel ourselves. We let good tackles, you know, when someone has a good tackle, we let that fuel us. So we, when someone has a great run, so we try to take every little moment and have that fuel our f fire. And especially, you know, when Hate goes down, because she's such a vital member of the team and she's, you know, someone that we can always count on on the wing. She hasn't, you know, missed a game. So to have her go down, it definitely puts a fire under us. Um, I think that we just, I mean, we all wanted to win. We we don't want to lose at home. Uh, we all, we just keep kept on making big plays and just kept on getting hyped up after those big plays and it just carried us out through the entire second half. You got a couple of long runs <coughs> that one at the very end there had to be 50, 60 plus yards. Uh -huh. just, uh, what's the adrenaline when you're running down the field when it's feel I mean, it feels pretty good. I, I like to see the open field and um, just try to get the score for the team. It's nice. I mean, I play obviously I play next to Low, and she always has a great. She always sets me up really nice, and I can either dish it off or I get that open field, and it's exhilarating. Yeah. Hey, what, is, what do you think it says about your conditioning that this isn't the first time that you guys uh, have really pulled away in the last few minutes of the game? What do you think it says about your conditioning and how uh, season uh, pressure? Um, I think we definitely have to give a big thanks to Coach Webster. She definitely keeps us in shape and strong and conditioned, and we do our part in the weight room and out of season. We definitely do our part, and um, but it's all thanks to Coach Webb. Whenever you guys break the huddle, it's, you know, we are on a mission, and we're now one step closer to that mission, so what's next? <coughs> uh, what's next is just, you know, recuperating and getting back in the mindset. I think this game was good. I think, you know, if we'd had an easier game today, we wouldn't have that same fire underneath us. So having this sort of game where, um, you know, it was a constant battle the whole time. We had this adrenaline built up and ready to play again. So, you know, tomorrow, today is all just going to be about rehabbing, talking with our trainer, Tommy, doing whatever we need to do to get our bodies right for the next game. I wonder, what's it like knowing the last game that you played uh, Central Washington you guys came out with a win against them? Um, it just feels good, you know. It feels they've been a, a big competitor throughout my throughout my years here, um, and to finally, you know, we've we lost them two past years and we beat them in the championship. But to beat them again and to beat them twice this season, I think just shows the hard work that we put in. That we never we never think that we're beatable. We're never like, well, they beat us, so you know they'll probably beat us again. We constantly think that we can beat everybody. So that complacency, we just never have it. You get this win at home, obviously, a pretty rowdy crowd today on the sideline. How nice is it to have family and, and friends here to support the whole team? It's so nice. It's I think that well, everybody comes out for nationals. And, um, it's nice to play play in front of the big crowd because sometimes we don't get that. And to have everybody's family like here after the game, it's really it's just really nice for them to see us get to play. Yeah.